it's a mystery. The Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden fairy story. That has some insightful clues. And one of them is the name of the tree. The tree responsible for expulsion from the uh, Garden of Eden. Because the tree was called Knowledge of Good and Evil. Well, the name is very, very meaningful, significant. Because in English, there's a word for knowledge of good and evil. The word is ethics. Yeah, knowledge of good and evil is knowledge of right and wrong. What's right and what's wrong? Ethics, morality. That's appropriate because the Garden of Eden was all about free will. And there was a choice. And Adam and Eve chose free will to disobey God. So they rebelled against God. Hence, they were getting experience of free will, direct knowledge of right and wrong. Partaking of knowledge of good and evil means to have free will. Actually, that's why Lucifer is usually condemned because he exercised free will and um, that was his sin sin so well that's it the tree of knowledge of good and evil means to exercise free will and uh, there's a little confirmation here because after e eating, uh, partaking of ethical knowledge, they became shy, covering their nakedness with leaves. Well, that means they were self-conscious. And if you think about human beings, uh, this is all about puberty, because at puberty, teenager becomes very self-conscious and shy about sexuality. Before puberty, you know, children, they run around naked, uh, casually, they, they're not self-conscious. And so it shows that they were maturing, that reached reach the teenage stage of psychological maturation and that's when uh, teenagers they start to say no and they like to rebel against their father and mother against their parents Sh being shy is the same as self-consciousness so and if you're self-conscious, you have an I, an I am. I want, I think, my opinion. And you say, no, this, and I want that. It's all about rebellion. Or not, not really rebellion, but assertion of me as an individual. Self-assertion, self-consciousness, self-expression. Now, I don't really call that rebellion, I just call it free will. <laughs> Only the father and the mother think that's rebellion, 
But the teenager just thinks, I'm not rebelling, I'm just being myself. But if you're a control freak parent, you don't like that. The control freak parent, like the Old Testament, God, God, wants everyone to be passive, obedient dog. So, in that case, in those circumstances, we bow is a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, the meaning of the tree of knowledge and good and evil is ethics. Because Adam and Eve had reached the psychological or spiritual stage where they had achieved self-consciousness, be shy. And aware of themselves as creators, sex being the ultimate act of creation. And they'd become self-assertive. And, and therefore separate from God. Their own will, which is not necessarily the same as God's will, is not necessarily at war with God. In a healthy family, the parents can not just accept, they encourage the kids to have their own opinion. There's only in the dysfunctional family with a control freak father, like Old Testament God, that this is perceived as a problem. And then the kid is expelled from the family home. The problem isn't Adam and Eve exercised free will. The problem is the Old Testament God, who's a control freak, 